So this is my synthetic division calculator, and right now it appears to be a completely blank, but that's just because the calculator doesn't know what degree of polynomial it's dividing. It can divide up to a degree 15 polynomial, but will automatically adjust if you change the degree. Here I'll show you with a degree 10 polynomial and using random coefficients and a random potential root that it'll automatically calculate and do synthetic division for us. Over here on the right, it also displays the final equation. Any of these values can be changed, and the synthetic calculator will automatically update, even the potential root. Now, with degree 5 or less polynomials, the calculator can be used to find roots of the equation. Here I'll use this equation, 1x to the 5th, negative 2x to the 4th, negative 10x to the 3rd, 20x squared, 9x minus 18. And as you can see, this is to the fifth degree. But how do we know what the potential roots are? Well, if we use p and q from this equation, which is 18 and 1, and plug it into this tab on the spreadsheet, we factor it out. So the factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, and as you can see, it automatically updates to show the corresponding factors. And the factor of 1 is 1. It'll automatically display over here on the right all of the potential roots. Now, if we go back to the spreadsheet and plug in the potential roots, let's say negative 1, uh, negative 3, 3, 2, and 1, we can see that when the remainder equals 0, it turns yellow to show that it is in fact a real root, because when the remainder is 0, the potential root is actually a real root. Now, finally, if we go over here to the right, we can see it displays the new equation and all of the quotients. Thank you for watching.